Hey guys, welcome to another episode on Kind Spirit Tech. Today we are going to talk about axis labels and brakes. And if you have been following this series of tutorials, you probably know a lot about this subject. But today we are going to talk exclusively about it. So first thing that I'm going to do now, I'm going to create one plot. I'm going to provide our data to ggplot function, then for aesthetics x and y and color based on category Z. And first thing now I'm going to show you one trick. You probably know that you don't have like bordering colors uh, for geom point. Because with geom point we are dealing only with color argument, there is no fill argument. But even without it you are still able to create uh, bubbles with bordering color. Let me show you how. First I'm going to create geom point. And I'm going to set size of 0.2 to 2,7, let's say, and color black. This is going to be our bordering color. And with next geom point, I'm going to set size a little bit smaller, let's say 2,2 units. And color is going to be defined uh, by this uh, color Z argument. If I run this code, voila. So what is all about? Uh, we have color determined uh, by color Z argument, this inner color. And uh, this black color, it's actually black dot that is behind this colored dot. So with this trick, we actually got our final effect. And now let's talk about labels. You probably know about uh, function labs. And with function labs you could uh, provide text for your axis. Like x it's going to be label for x and y label for y. Run this code. Okay, works perfectly, uh, but not only that, if you provide value of null, like this, you are going to remove your axis labels. Run this code, and you can do exact the same with x lab if you want to deal uh, only with uh, x axis, and in here I'm going to provide a label text. like this okay save it run it and as you can see it works uh, just fine and if you want to deal with y axis you are going to use function xlab and now if you want to deal with uh, a range of your axis you are going to use function xlim for uh, limits of uh, x axis or y lim if you want to deal with y axis and in here we are going to provide two numbers uh, so uh, minimal value and maximal value like this save it run it and now I will show you two functions that you could use uh, in order to take full control over your axis and that is scale x continuous or scale while continuous if you want to deal with y axis and in this case i'm going to provide the uh, first argument is just going to be text uh, for our label and second argument limits in here we are going to provide collection with uh, minimal value and maximal value now I want breaks. So with this argument we are actually going to decide where actually we want our breaks. And of course we need to provide collection of uh, values. So I want uh, break on 0, on uh, let's say 35, then 70. And 100 and just 100. Okay, this is cool. And now one more argument, labels, also collection of values. And in here we are actually going to provide the labels for our breaks. So we have four breaks, 
and I'm going to put text in here A, B, C, and D. Save it, run it. And if you want to remove breaks completely, there is one more way. I'm going to show you with scale Y continuous and provide breaks with empty collection. Save it, run it. All right, now there are no breaks on Y axis. So guys, uh, thank you for watching. I hope that you have learned something interesting. So please like, subscribe and see ya.